Dancing Queen, Skipper, National Award Recipient, Trinity Cross Holder, Member of Parliament, Sportswoman of the Year, Minister of Sport, Wife and Mother. That was the life of Eugenia Theodicia Pear. Eugenia, who was better known as Jean Pear, was born on 26th March 1944 in Faisabad, South Trinidad. As a girl, she played netball for the Orpuch Government Primary School and Forest Reserve. But following the death of her father, the family moved to Port of Spain, where she attended the Mukarapa Girls RC Primary School. The budding star's netball career continued on the courts of the Progressive Educational Institute after she was awarded a scholarship at age 15. Jean continued to play the sport she loved and as a member of the team which went to England to play in the inaugural Netball World Championship in 1963. When Jean returned to this country, she became a regular fixture on the national team. However, that was not enough for her. In 1968, Jean formed the Pan Am Marvelites Club. Peggy Castaneda Phillip was encouraged to join the team. She recalled that the woman she referred to as Skipper was more than just a coach to her. It was like a big family, she being the head, you know, so I remember her being very, um, what should I say, outspoken, but caring, a firm hand, you know, but still someone you could approach, you know. Mrs. Castaneda Phillip was one of the players on the Shikonia gold medal winning team who returned to Trinidad and Tobago from the World Netball Championship in 1979. She recalled that Jean was committed and disciplined when it came to the sport of netball. Tough. Very tough. You know, because um, she find that once you do something, you could always do better. You know, she, she never really settled for, you know, for mediocre, mediocrity. She always more or less find you should always aim for the, the, the top. She said, if you want to get further in this game, you have to work hard. It was as a result of her skill on the court in the World Netball Series that in addition to being awarded the Shikonia Medal Gold, that Miss Pear also received the Trinity Cross. Peggy Castaneda recalled that many people felt that Jean should not have been singled out for the outstanding award. However, she's of the view that Jean deserved the honor. Jean was a special person, but she was marvelous in the tournament. She was accurate. She was more or less like um, bringing on the other players, trying to you know, bring on the, the, the younger ones. To me, she remained the same, the same person. It's just that um, as that was awarded to her, she, I think maybe she just um, lifted her herself a bit, you know, like, you know, well, now I have the Trinity Cross, I should, you know, try and step up. Being humble was always part of um, Jean. Jean Pear was recognized for her work in the designing of analytical charts and tournament records for the game of netball. And in between 1961 and 1995, she became one of the most decorated individuals in this country as a result of her skill, speed and agility on the netball court. Her name is also recognized as one of the true masters of the sport. Because even playing among the, the Australians, the New Zealanders, the English people, you know, she, Jean always stood out, you know, her style, you know, it was different to other people's styles. So she, you know, and even though every time they name a, um, a world, when you play in a world tournament and you have the name in the top 12, her name was always there. You know, her name was always among the, the top in the world. In 1991, Jean Pierre stopped running and jumping on the netball court and walked into the Parliament of Trinidad and Tobago after she became the Member of Parliament for the constituency of Port of Spain South. This seat was historic because it was the one held by the country's first Prime Minister, the late Dr. Eric Williams. Apart from her parliamentary position, Jean Pear also served as Minister of Sport. However, her friend and teammate Peggy Castaneda Phillip believes she should have brought some of her aggressiveness on the court to the Ministry of Sport. To have a voice in Parliament as a woman for sport, I think it's difficult, even as a woman. Jean Pear served as Minister of Sport from 1991 until 1995, after which the mother of three left these shores to be with her youngest son, Justin, who at that time was a student in the Cayman Islands. Even in that country, she excelled. 
Jean coached and consulted the Cayman Islands team as they prepared for their matches in the Caribbean Championship which was held in Dominica. Her native land was never far from her mind. After she returned from the Cayman Islands, Jean was reappointed coach of the national team and helped them to prepare for the round robin tournament which was held in Melbourne, Australia. Trinidad and Tobago also honored the netball star by naming the National Sporting Complex after her. In addition to being the netball queen, Jean was also a games officer, national coordinator of sports programs, physical education teacher at schools locally and internationally, university colleges in the United Kingdom, a coach and examiner for the Caribbean Netball Coaching Empowering Award. The woman who gave so much of herself to Trinidad and Tobago succumbed to colon cancer in the Cayman Islands on December 2, 2002. Jean, who was 58 at the time of her death, was working as a coach. The netball queen and former member of parliament for Port of Spain South is survived by her husband and three children. Jean Peer, Trinidad and Tobago's netball queen, national award recipient, Trinity Cross holder, member of parliament, sportswoman of the year, minister of sport, coach and mother to all.